Now let's talk about list maintenance. You're like, huh? List maintenance? What do you mean I have to maintain and work on my list and you know, clean the bathrooms or dust the counters? or What, what do you mean list maintenance? Well, list maintenance, it's important. So you must regularly clean your list to save you money and increase your results. Now, email marketing, any type of service, they've typically gone to a kind of per subscriber, per email basis. It's no longer pay 100 bucks a month and you can send an unlimited number of emails. You can send millions of emails. It doesn't work that way anymore. There are tiers now based on how many contacts, how many email addresses you have in your account, as well as how many emails you send out in total when mailing your list. So because there's an actual cost to mailing your list, you want to remove any emails after a certain period of time uh, that just are unresponsive. So if you've emailed somebody, let's say, for th three months, and they haven't opened one, you look at the data, they haven't opened any of your emails in three months, that's a bad address. Remove it from your list. There's no reason for you to keep paying to promote to that person um, because they've become inactive. So typically, if they haven't opened in three to six months, just get them out of there completely. There's no reason for it. And by getting these dead emails off your list, it increases your overall open rates and click rates. Now, that's important because a lot of these email providers, they'll look at how good of a customer you are, how, you know, the quality of your account by what your open rates are and what your click rates are. And if they're really, really low, they look at you as a kind of a poor customer. And that can matter because they think you may get spam complaints. Uh, they think you'll be bad for, for their system. And they may move you onto a private IP address, kind of where they put more of their lower quality customers because they don't want to jeopardize the IP addresses they use to send out emails for their good customers. And it can affect your delivery uh, results. So your deliverability can go down if you're seen as, you know, kind of a poor quality account. So that's another reason never to keep email addresses on your list and not to keep emailing those people anyways that aren't going to, you know, open and click and interact with your emails. So it's important that you regularly clean your list. Now, you want to remove emails that bounce, of course, and some systems do this for you. So once an email becomes bad, you know, where the email is undeliverable, then you definitely don't want to keep emailing it because that really can increase the rate at which someone thinks you're going to get spam complaints. And if you're emailing a lot of bounced addresses, it just looks like you either bought the email addresses or you, you know, used a script to kind of come up with them and you just look like you're abusing the internet and it can get your account closed or, you know, like I said before, it can move you into a kind of area or server where you may not get the highest deliverability for your good email addresses. So you want to remove bounces. And I already said this, you want to remove inactives that uh, have a lack of open or click activity. However, this is important. Pay close attention. Don't delete any records of email addresses. So even if you have customers that unsubscribe, you can still have them in your database as a customer that unsubscribes so they don't, they don't want you emailing them anymore. Or if you have an email address that stopped being active where they're no longer opening your emails, uh, it, it's okay. You can By cleaning your list, you can tag them as inactive where you won't email them anymore, but you still want to keep a record of them. Here's why. When we get to Facebook advertising, there's a option that we can use inside the Facebook ad platform called custom audience targeting. We can literally upload a list of email addresses and have Facebook ads that we run only show to Facebook users that have their accounts match those emails. Now this is very important because let's say you've had customers that you sold, we'll stick with the real estate investing example. Let's say you sold a course for $5,000 and it's an expensive course, there's expensive training teaching a legit like real estate investing business. The information's valuable, it's why your product's so expensive. But you've had a couple thousand buyers over the last few years and they've produced you know a few million dollars in sales those five thousand um, dollar you know customers actually a thousand of them would be you know what five million dollars so that they're that's a lot of money and they're very valuable customers but let's say they unsubscribe from your list even though they bought your course they got tired of getting your emails to your list so they unsubscribe so you no longer have the permission or right to email them what if you come out with a new product 
or you're doing a new seminar or workshop or new webinar series or you're coming out with something new to sell your customer base, you no longer have the ability to mail those people because they unsubscribed. Well, you can run a Facebook custom audience targeting campaign based on their email address. And if that's the same email address, and oftentimes it is that they use for their Facebook account, you can get ads in front of them and it can be ads related just to your customers. So it's like a customer special or sale. So you can reach them that way. So you can still communicate with them and find them. You just don't do it directly through email. And it's very, very valuable. And we're going to talk more about that when we get to running Facebook ads. But you don't ever want to completely delete the records of email addresses. You just want to tag them as an active so you don't keep emailing them.